Hi there, welcome back to Resin by Drew. Um, today I'm going to do another set of the um, flower um, coasters that I did using the Probably see it's starting to bloom already.
okay so look how well the first one and the second are blooming already I'm just going to do a little swirl in the middle of each I'm not going to go crazy just a little swirl I think that's it. I, think I might just want to, I'm not sure if I want to thicken these lines up in the last one or if it's just me. I think the lines just look thinner in the last one because the other ones are already all starting to bloom. So I think it's probably just me and I think I should probably stop fiddling and just leave it. But as I keep telling you, I am a fiddler. Right, I'm going to stop there. I'm happy with those. I love the way the first two are blooming. Um, hopefully the second, well, the third one's on its way. Hopefully the fourth one will start as well. Um, so I'm going to leave it, leave them to it. And then tomorrow I'll put a backing layer on. So I'm not sure whether I'll use glitter or um, a mica powder or what I'll use yet but I'll put a darker colour or a different colour on for the backing layer and then you'll be able to see that through um, behind where the flowers where the petals have blo bloomed um, so that's it I'm going to leave it for now and I'll be back to join you tomorrow so we can see what colour layer we should put on for the back see you tomorrow bye for now hi welcome back I'm going to add the back coat um, to these coasters now. I don't very often use green. I've been, I've been looking at some of my designs and I, um, I've been looking at colours that I use a lot and colours that I don't use very often. And I don't very often use green and I don't know why because I do, there's some beautiful shades of green. So I found this lovely shade um, olive um it is hemway glitter uh, and i'm going to add that to the resin and then i'm going to use that as the um as the backing coat for these coasters This, this paper cup that I'm using for mixing at the moment, <laughs> I've used it a few times and it's got a, a coat of resin on um, the inside now and it's making it so nice to stir the resin and to scrape the resin out um, that I'd love to reuse paper cups and plastic cups over and over. I just use them as many times as I can but the fact that this has now got a clear layer of resin on just means that everything pulls away from it so easily. Um, and I usually just tend to leave it to dry. I don't tend to uh, clean it out or scrape it out. Prop well, I scrape it out to get the resin out, but I don't tend to scrape it out or clean it out. I just leave it with to, for the uh, remnants to dry in the resin in the cup, and then just reuse it. Just topping these up. Look how nicely that comes out. That's all because it's already got a layer of dried resin on the inside. So again, I'll leave that to dry and I'll be reusing that next time. I don't like to put glitter in the silicon cups in these ones. I find it quite difficult to get glitter out. So I tend to use the paper cups for glitter um, and I find well, I don't need to get it out. I can just leave leave it to dry then and then reuse the cups. But it does make cleaning much easier. Okay, so I like the, that olive colour. Um, hopefully it will give a nice effect with the, um, the dash line flowers on the other side. I'm going to pause the video. Okay, so let's demold these coasters. Demold them all and then we'll have a look at them. Oh wow, I love the way this has bloomed. Just trying to see if the camera will pick up the holographic effect because this was a um, holographic mould. 
not sure if the camera will pick up the effect. I love the way it's bloomed though, it's got so much dimension. Wow. I'm really happy with these. I just hope the camera's picking up the holographic effects as well as the um, as the depth of the flowers. There is so much depth to these flowers. Let me just see if putting them on coloured card will help. I think black might help better. Just to help you see them better. I don't know if that will help with the holographic effect at all. I'm really happy with them though. the swirl in the middle as well that does give added depth to the um, the whole thing I'm really really happy with those and as I say I don't use green very often but I'm really happy with the green um, that's on the background as well so um, overall they are a big big hit I really like these um, and um, I'll be doing this dash line technique a lot more and uh, probably using a lot more green as well actually with the way these have come out because like I say I am really happy with them um, so that's it for now and I'll be back with another experiment soon see you soon bye for now